want to talk to you for a minute about pricing. Uh, when it comes to the real estate market, you know, obviously the real estate market moves in cycles. So typically and historically, these cycles will occur every seven to 10 years. Now, if you've been in real estate for over 15 years, or if you have studied the market like myself, then you will have seen and you know that back in 2005, 2006, the market was booming, things were hot. Um, what happened in 2008? Well, the market tanked. Um, so 2009, 2010 were really hard years. A lot of REOs, a lot of foreclosures, short sales, um, a lot of homes that were underwater from a price perspective. So here we are. Um, that was 2006, right? Now we're 13 years later in 2019, going on 14 years later. And we are back at a peak seller's market. Um, so we're seeing actually a little bit of softening in our marketplaces. Uh, we here in the Carolinas, um, anything over, and I don't want to bore you too much with this, but anything over a certain price point, so let's say in uh, Wilmington, North Carolina, anything over $450,000 right now, we're seeing a softening in the demand for that price point. So in other words, prices were driven so high that now the consumer's demand cannot meet what that price was. So prices have to adjust, right? Um, in Charleston, South Carolina, we're seeing the same thing in hyper-local marketplaces. So the luxury listing market, at least in the Carolinas, is starting to flatten or soften. If you're seeing something different in your local market here in the Carolinas, let me know. I'm, I'm really interested in these types of things. So what does this mean for you? What does this mean for sellers? Well, um, if you have a seller that their home is, or let's say they bought their home back in 2006, and they bought it for $600,000, I am going to take a leap of faith here and tell you that today, that home, you may be able to get 600 out of it, probably not anymore. If you're in a market where you're seeing luxury listings are still appreciating in price, like I said, please let me know. However, what we're seeing is a softening. So I encourage you, be able to have these conversations with your sellers or potential sellers. What does that conversation look like? Well, um, Ms. or Mrs. Seller, you know, I appreciate that you bought your home for this much back in 2006. I know that you want to get the most money for your home and I am here as your realtor to fight for you and to price it as high as we can. However, can I share something with you? You see, I don't make the market, I just interpret the market. Very key line, I don't make the market, I just interpret the market. And what the market is telling us right now is that there is a softening in the demand for luxury homes such as yours. Now, what do we mean by that? We simply mean that the price that we could sell your home for will not meet the demand that the market has driven us to up to this point. So we may have to price a little below market value, five to 10%, to stay relevant to buyers, prospective buyers who would be eligible, who may be eligible to buy your home. Does that make sense? It's not an easy conversation. It will not be an easy conversation. And yet, I encourage you, study your market, look at the market statistics in your local MLS, understand days on market, understand months of inventory, understand medium price point, look at the linear graphs, look at the way that the market is moving. Is it an upward trend? Is it a downward trend? Is it a leveling or a softening trend? And be that local expert for your people because at the end of the day, no matter what the information is, you are the deliverer and you are the professional. So get out there, price homes correctly, and help your sellers 
really self-discover what they can sell their home for because after all, you don't wanna price a home and have it sit on the market for months and months and months. Trust me, that's no fun. So I hope this video was helpful. You guys have a great day.